you know, from Oklahoma State's perspective, um, I don't know that you could draw it up any better than the way it went. Um, I, I figured it was going to be close. Um, I, I'm, I've said this, I'm a real big fan of Missy and her staff, and they're doing the right things. That program is close. Um, and I knew it was going to be tough. I told them, I said, Oregon will have blood in their eyes, so you better be ready. Um, and we, we kind of – it felt good to score first, to be very honest. Um, and then I could tell in the first that Kelly's stuff was good. Um, and um, I didn't know it was going to be that good. Um, but it was incredible. Um, and then when you have kids like this going, I think, four for four, um, four RBIs um, in the biggest of moments, it's just um, a testament to this program to the people who support us um, from our managers up. Um, it's a special place, and um, it's hard to explain. Have to kind of be here to see it. Um, but um, I'm just very grateful and thankful for all these guys, everybody inside our, our program, everyone from what, what we say team one, our first year here. Um, uh, it's just special, special people, and it's taken all of us to get here. So. Um, Credit Oregon, um, hats off to M Missy. Congratulations to them on an incredible year. They're just getting better and better in her time and they'll be back and they'll be tough and, and um, uh, they were an awesome opponent. Um, this team is just um, in a different place right now. Obviously playing well and um, fun to see. I noticed on the broadcast they showed you putting your head down on the final out. You looked a little emotional. What went through your mind when that last out happened? And were you indeed a little emotional? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I was actually in a pretty bad place when we got the second out. Um, I don't, I don't know what came over me. I, I think it's just, it, it's probably been the hardest year on me personally. Just, we made some tough changes this last year. It was really hard. It's, it's. Um, I don't know, it just kind of wears on you. Um, and and those things are all only done to help our kids. And so I feel like I've shouldered that some and um it's it's just it's just been hard. It's the first year I felt criticism um in my time here. That's been a new experience. I'm usually a guy that people like, so I I've 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 you know had to deal with uh, with that. Um so it's just learning. I mean, I'm just getting better. And so I just felt this rush of emotion as I was watching Kelly out there. And I've known what she's been going through. I know how I know what Kylie feels like after she feels like we feel like she got completely snubbed in the Big 12 um, uh, uh, awards. Um, and it was just like, OK, we're, we're about to show you um, and we're going to do it as a group and we're going to rally behind her and behind her and we're going to show you guys what this is all about and so and not you guys but you know what i'm saying just the public or whatever the opinions out there are so um i'm already an emotional guy but it just i think everything just tells you how hard it is to get back to okc it's hard it's it's crazy and and um i love my job there's no place i'd rather be um and uh, like, like I've said a lot, I wish I got less credit and I, less I, and, and, and I wish I got less blame. I, I don't want any of it. I want these guys to get all the, the uh, accolades that they should because they're the ones out there playing and working and making this stuff happen. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.